toilet paper, now ammo. Gun stores across the state are seeing fewer boxes of bullets on their shelves. And more people are buying what they do have within minutes. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Donna Terrell. The shortage began during the pandemic, but it's getting worse. Our Claire Kreitz shows us how this could continue for a couple more years. Finding shells, that's the job right now. Rick Petty Sr. knows he has quite a yeah. while until he's sitting in a blind looking at a deer through his scope. 90% of what you click on, it says out of stock. But he's already trying to find what ammunition he can. The one shell right there, I've got three of those left from my 3030 for this year if I don't find them more. From shotguns to rifles and even some handguns, it's almost impossible to get ammo in your sights. I've gone to places where I've always gone before. And they say, we're out. When are you going to get some in? Uh, it could be two or three more months. It's kind of been one issue after another. Arigo's wholesale guns owner, Roger Latcha, calls it a perfect storm that started when COVID-19 swept the country one year ago. And the demand kind of rose a little because of COVID. Well, then at the same time, most of the manufacturers had to close for some of them a few months. When they did open, social distancing protocols slowed down the manufacturing process that was already behind. Then after that, you started having metal shortages. Now, not only is it tough to fill the shelves. Since probably October, I've seen about 10 boxes of 30-30 ammo. The shipments they do get don't last long. We have limits on, on the ammo, you know, limit one box, two box on stuff, and it still won't even last till lunchtime. When Latcha talks to his manufacturers, he says it's tough to gauge when the shortage will end. As a matter of fact, this week they told me they had a two-year backlog. Hmm. After asking around, we found there are some folks who stockpiled ammo early on and they're now selling it, but it's by word of mouth. And those boxes come at a price. And the legality of that, well, it's another can of worms.